So we had the SID Display Week, and uh, hello. So who are you? Yeah, I'm uh, uh, Sanga. I'm from Halation Photonics in China. So um, right here with the Halation Photonics, and hi. So who are you? Yeah, I'm Alan from Halation Photonics. So what is this? It's a special uh, zero power LCD e-paper like display. Zero power LCD. Yes. Is it bistable LCD? Yes, bistable black and white. LCD. Pure LCD, low no, cost. No e-ink. No e-ink at all. Yeah. So um, and you have all these here, and you can show how how do you change? So it's it's perfect for shelf labels. Yes, very cheap solution for shelf labels. So how's the contrast compared to e-ink? A little bit lower. Like you can show this one? How's yeah. it lower? Why is it lower? Uh, because this is a naturally LCD. It's a different structure and a different uh, way of doing displays. So the black is not as black? Yeah, right? black's not that black, but the white is uh, close to the ink of white. Yeah? yeah. And so, um, but then you say low cost shelf labels? Cost is very important for this market, right? That's the reason you see so many papers. You have to compete with the papers plus labels. So uh, in, in this case, I think LCD can have their pen penetration. And uh, uh, you can change again. So you have big size like this, and it's connected how this connection here. You can change the whole store in one click? Yeah, just one click automatically. But is, it, is this a really real product, or is it just a prototype? No, it's a product in, in use. In, in where? In many supermarkets. In, in which country? In, the, in China. Uh, Germany. In Germany. So, um, how, how's the price? Price, half compared with the ink. Half. Similar size. What is the problem other than the contrast? Do you have other problem? Well, we are having roadmap to improve the contrast. It's going to be next generation, so we are closer and closer to ink performance. And uh, the refresh rate is a little bit slow? A little bit slow, but for this application, it doesn't really matter. So, can you click again? What happened when you click? What well, is happening? It's a RF, RF transmission. And what happened in the screen? Yeah, the screen will write off the current image and show the new image from RF uh, transmission. So it writes off, it does by layers, uh -huh. and then it comes this way. Yes. How? Right. Why does it do like this? It's just uh, trying to have waveforms to save some power. It's a driving mechanism. Do you do this for a long time, or what, is it new, or this technology? Yeah, it has been five, five years around. Five years to be working, and wh where are you based? In China, in Suzhou. Is this where you are? This uh, one. This is where you're based? Uh, uh, maybe, uh, uh, what is this? This is, this is a relatively new technology for shutters. Because shutter, diffuser, and uh, use electronic control. So shutter where? Shutter, for example, for camera. In front of the camera, you want to protect your privacy. You don't want like hackers to hack your camera. And then you can have a physical shutter or electronic shutter like us. So it could be very thin, low cost. So it's a physical... It's like physical shutter. It's put in front of the camera. But it's transparent. Yeah, when it's transparent, it's just like glass. When what? it's a blocking, it's just a block. Fully transparent. Full, fully transparent, is like a some glass. Losing some transparency, no? No, 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 no losing transparency and a very low haze. But where, how does it work? Can you show or...? Uh, we can switch, I think. Yeah. Uh, so you see, this is a typical glass we have. There. So now it's a transparent state and the can goes to scattering. So it's Whoa. not everything. So whenever you think about uh, you want to use your camera, you can open it. Whoa. It's just like glass. So is this uh, unique? Nobody else do this? Yes, this is very unique. It's our uh, IP-based uh, technology. Uh, let's, let's turn up. Is this some information about you? Yeah, this is about our factory, I think. We have a plant actually in China. So what does it say here? CB Optic? CB Optic. Crystal Bright Optic is a joint venture company with Halation and another company uh, in uh, Taizhou, uh, also a Chinese company. It's a public company there. And what do we have uh, over here? Uh, what is this? Uh, this is a transparent uh, static zero power display. This is a transparent yeah. display. So you can see my fingers. 
So it's a, it's a double side the same image. So it's transparent this black. Transparent, color. And color, and no power. So see the... the, the, the yeah, it's like the static billboard display. And on the back too. Yeah, it's a bicycle. Yeah, I'll can say you make it not transparent? Can you make it... Uh, do you have a version that's without transparency? Uh, we can we can write them off and see if I can do it. Just set. Oh, you have different levels? Uh, we want to set. So you can write them off. And then we can, uh, I think, uh, I'll, I'll switch to another image. That's a good visual. It's like printing display. So it'll go just, just coming from you. Whoa. So it's like What is happening now? It's a printing. For every line by line, they print out the image. And then, power on. So, by stable. Uh, nobody else do this? Nobody else is uh, very new. Uh, or IP based. Is there any chance you can do faster refresh rate or never Not this stage, because for this application we want a, like a bi-stable power saving. So if it's a fast speed, you can just use a conventional LCD. Or e-ink. Or e-ink is slow, it's not fast. E-ink is click and... Yeah, faster than fast, us. Right? Yeah, but for video rate, I think you can use a conventional LCD. You're not planning to do e-reader? Uh, not this moment. Just shelf label. Shelf label, low cost, and the shutters. And it's our. Is it kind of like advertising? Or advertising something? demos for this. Uh, digital signage, something like that? Yeah, in the future, we do. Yeah. And can you increase the contrast and the. the, the can you increase uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, contrast ratio. Um, yeah, like the, the vivid colors or something like that, more yeah. colors, what you can do. Yeah, I think in the future, we, if we, we upgrade the information, uh, upgrade the materials, we can possibly increase the contrast ratio. It depends on material uh, properties. And this is information here? Yes, information of the material. 2009? Yes, we found it at that time. All right, and are you very, very famous or are you a small company or? We're a startup company and startup? we're working for uh, like materials. These guys? They're all from the same company. Yeah. And uh, uh, what's next? Next. Uh, what's your plan in the future? In the future, well, we will do materials. We will do plant for manufacturing. I think this is all new technologies. We have new materials plus cell manufacturing. So this is a plan for pollution. Nice. Yeah.